Now our next opponent is Mateo Jensen. He's an 87 overall. His stand-up ain't too good, but his ground game is absolutely beast, and he will submit you if you get a chance. And if he's a familiar face to you, because he should be. If you remember about two years ago, he came in, stepped in toe-to-toe -to -toe with the great one, and he didn't pay his Con Edison bill beforehand, so he shut his lights off with the elbow. But even with that outcome, he did show some promise early in the fight, so I'm not taking him lightly at all. But the fact of the matter is he wants the title, and I don't plan on giving it away anytime soon. So he's going to be lights out again. Let's do it. Coming up next, it is our main event of the evening between Big Train and Big Dad. Now, I'm mad enough to admit that I underestimated this dude, Mateo Jensen, before our first fight. And I give it to him. He gave me a run in that first round. He had me rock. He had me reeling. But I finally washed up. I knocked his ass out like I expected to. But this time, I'm not underestimating this motherfucker. He is as good as ever on the ground. He showed me that he could strike. But mainly, I got to look out for those submissions. He's hungry to take my title. But you know what? I'm hungry, too. I'm dead serious. I ate like a whole plate of chicken palm before this. <laughs> Let me stop. Let me stop. Anyway, Big Train, we're coming down to the end of his career. I know I've been saying that for 10 fights, but every time I do a new fight, it just feels like, you know, how a tree has rings, and for every ring, every year the tree's alive, it grows another ring. It's like I'm running out of rings to step into, you know what I'm saying? Every fight I get into there, every time I step into that octagon, that's one less time I step into it at the end of my career. I have like five fights left. I've won 12 of my last 12. I want to end it on a winning streak. I want to finish my career as UFC heavyweight champion and Mateo Jensen and everyone after him are the only people that are going to stop me from doing that and myself if I eat too much I might not be able to do that too but you know what the chicken palms in the system it solves this conviction I'm ready to knock him out let's do it our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight Big Train is nine years his elder Big Daddy weighed in at 256 pounds Big Train will have a two inch reach advantage and with the official introductions, here's the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. You know what, in the first fight, I even realized how short Mateo Jensen is. It's rare when you get to fight someone that's shorter than you in the heavyweight division. Usually these dudes are like Bigfoot. They're all like six foot six. They got huge ass legs. They got some nice thighs. No, I'm, I'm kidding. But anyway, they're usually bigger than me, so I have to, you know, reach up to their face to knock them out. Him, I can actually look down upon him a little bit. You know what, he's going to be looking up for me on the canvas. After I knock his ass out. Let's go. Big train. Big dad. Mad respect is always big. They call him Big Daddy? He's like 5'11. All right, he's 256. He's actually six pounds heavier than me, even though my stomach does not prove that. That's for damn sure. I think they might have weighed me when I was like 13 years old and they're using that as a statistic. Because look at that. Look at the fucking gut. I'm definitely not no 250 pounds right now, but hey, I'll take it. You know what? Make me seem a little bit more slender to the ladies. You know what I'm saying? The tail chance to come over here. Ah, right, he's backing up. He's back. I like the tattoo on his neck. It gives me a nice target to swing at with my conviction. No, get out of here. I'm trying to go to that takedown. And I know this is my first fight with uh, the new update they put out. I'm not exactly sure what they changed. I heard that they kind of altered the combo system a little bit more. So it, it actually like rewards being more rhythmic with the button presses. Like that means. And I know they did a finish the fight too. And they tweaked the stamina a little bit as well. I'm actually curious to see. Let me go for that takedown. Ah. I'm actually curious to see uh, what has changed about it. Right now, punching doesn't seem like much has changed. Oh, ah, Mateo. Mateo, he's doing a nice little combo on me. Hold on. Get the conviction. Ah. God, I just glanced with that one. No, get off me. I'm ready for these takedowns. I've been working. Oh, get on your ass. All right, get up. Come on. All right. See if we can work this here. He's, he's actually coming at me hard. He's coming at me strong. Uh, 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 body shots. I don't see any changes in the rhythm in the punches so far. Actually, I do see a big stamina drop when I'm just like button mashing. Oh. That left kick to the face. I know he felt that one. He doesn't want another one of those body hooks. Oh, he's giving me some body hooks. He's giving me some uppercuts. He's fighting. I told you he gave me a fight in that first round, the first fight. And he's doing it again. He called me with a couple punches I was not expecting here. Let me catch him with some of my own. Oh, oh, uppercut city. Oh, oh, our jaws are going to be wide shut after this one. Damn, we're eating punches. Ah, and I'm already full. I just had dinner. I can't eat no more. Oh, oh, no. Back drop to the Damn, dude. All right, that hurt a little bit. When someone drops 260 pounds all over your head, that doesn't feel good no matter which way they do it. Get the fuck off of me. All right, here we go. Here we go. Come on, Mateo. Come on, Mateo. Mateo? What the fuck is that? 
That's why that's what he's gonna be saying when he speaks his own name after I'm done with him, Mateo. Gonna knock his ass out. His cheeks gonna be swollen. He's gonna be like, what's your name? Um, Mateo. That's what he's gonna be saying. Ooh, let's make him lisp. Let's make him lisp. Oh my god. Oh my god. That hook rush was unbelievable. I know I had him rocked, and he actually took quite a few punches after he got dizzy, but damn. Just left hook after conviction, after left hook, after conviction, after cross, after hook. The conviction finally put him away. And right now, he's saying that his name is Mateo. I told you he's going to say his name is Mateo. He's like, oh, my name is Mateo. There he goes. He's done. He's done. And here we go with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen. Mateo, he hit me with that uppercut. He, you know, when someone hits you in the uppercut, you're like, it's like you got, you know, your freaking teeth click. He called me one of those early on. That's what woke me up. It's been a while since I stepped in the octagon. Sometimes you need to get punched in the face in order to realize where you are. And once he did that, it was a rap for Mateo Jensen. His name Mateo now. He's speaking with a list because I just knocked his tooth out. You know what? I got to tell you guys, that one happened so fast. I was going to give you guys two fights for the price of one. But I saw the second fight, I recorded the second fight, and it was such a freaking slobber knocker that I didn't want to snuggle it away at the end of this one. So forgive me for this short episode, you're going to get a good fight for the next one. Big Train is about to retire, only got like four videos left. Thank you guys for watching, I'll see you on the next one. Peace, you don't want to miss it. Yo, Handsome Jack don't got no cakes. Ain't down the sights. Hey, cakes. He's lagging a little bit in the trunk department, you know what I'm saying? Hey, hey. <laughs> but his leg beats his back. That's hey. It. <laughs> and everybody has just gifted his already. You know? Handsome Jack